Is there ever really a final discard from a narcissist or a toxic person? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammett. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're talking about just that, y'all, the final discard from a narcissist or a toxic person. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. Thank you. So this person is asking, is there a final discard from a narcissist or a toxic person? And of course, if you're new here, I'm a narcissist, actually a narcissistic personality disorder. So the final discard is typically up to you because a lot of narcissists and toxic people will come back as many times as you allow them to come back into your life for as long as you allow them to come back into your life. Will some narcissistic people find someone, some find a new supply and move on and leave you alone for good? Yeah, some of them will absolutely do that. But a lot of narcissistic people will come back as often as you let them come back. I've heard on and off relationship more times than I care to count when I'm doing my one-on-ones and whatnot over Zoom. And people be on and off in on and off relationships for 26 years. That's the longest I've heard so far in an on and off relationship. But the final discard is up to you typically. When are you done? When have you had enough? When are you tired of letting it, allowing them to come back into your life, ruin your life and leave again? And then they come back again, do the same thing. Rinse, wash, repeat. So there is a final discard, but it typically it falls on you. So welcome back, beautiful people. The final discard, final, final discard, y'all. So, so it sounds silly, but the final discard is up to you. It is, y'all. When, when, you know, somebody said, somebody said this to me earlier today. I don't know if, if there's a point where people reach when, they, when they've had enough with the narcissist. You know what I mean? The final discard, or when the narcissist is, are they coming back anymore? That's what people really ask. Are they coming back? Again, are they do all narcissists come back? No, not all narcissists come back, but it's not really up to to them, y'all. It's up to you. Even if they do come back, even if they don't come back, it's up to you to finally put an end to it. When have you had enough? When have, when have you had when have you had enough of this person coming in and out of your life, in and out of your life, over and over again, in and out, ruining your life, st stopping you from living a life of authenticity? When are you? When have you had enough? The final discard from a narcissist is up to you. It's up to you because some not all narcissists come back, but the ones that do, they come back because you let them come back. Y'all, let's be realistic. They can't come back if, unless you let them come back. Will some, the, the, will some of them not leave? I think there's a difference between them not leaving you alone and them coming back into your life in a relationship. Some of them won't leave you alone. That's not up to you right there. Some of them, you can you can force them to leave you alone. You can call the police. You can do a lot of different things to try to force them to leave you alone and things like that, right? But some of them won't do that, y'all. Some of them don't, don't respect boundaries. Some of them don't respect you. Some, some of them think they are they are deserving of, to be around you, your time, your effort, your energy, all of the other good stuff. Some of them think that they are ent entitled to you. Some of them think you belong to them, but you don't. You you don't. You don't have an owner, y'all. You own you. you it's, it's, it's self-ownership right here. Because the narcissistic person, the narcissist, is going to do whatever they are, they feel like they can they, they are allowed to do whatever they can get away with whatever it takes for them to get their needs met they will do it you see what i'm saying one of the most common terms that i hear when i'm talking to people about narcissists is we were on and off for x amount of time period the longest i've heard so far is like 17 years of being on and off with somebody like y'all break up makeup break up makeup there's some other day there's dating other people in between sometimes but sometimes it's just break up makeup break up makeup what are you getting from that, y'all? You see what I'm saying? What are you getting from that? And and this is what people, narcissistic people, don't think that they are wasting their time with you. Let's keep it hot right here. A narcissist does not feel like they are wasting time with you. They might say it out loud, but they don't feel like they're wasting time with you as long as their needs are being met. Whatever need they have, as long as that need, that those needs are being met, they don't feel like they're wasting time with you. You know what I mean? As long as they feel like they're getting what they want from you, they don't think they're wasting time with you. Now, you, on the other hand, whose needs are probably not being met, it becomes a waste of time for you once you discover narcissistic abuse, once you discover toxic abuse. It becomes a waste of time for you, but once you discover that, you know what I mean? Once you discover narcissistic abuse and you understand what you're going through, from that moment on, Anything you, it, it, allowing them back into your life, expecting them to change, expecting them to, you know, for their behaviors to alter, expecting them, expecting them to love you anymore, that becomes a waste of time for you. And time is finite, y'all. Time is finite. 
narcissistic people typically try to live their lives like playing the infinite game. Like Simon Sinek does very good, you know, very good videos talk about infinite and finite lives, infinite and finite games. Narcissist, narcissistic people, we live like we're gonna live forever, right? <laughs> we don't know. So I'm just telling you, y'all, when is enough enough for you? The narcissistic person, like from the narcissist perspective, they will leave you alone once they feel like they can't get any more from you. Once they feel like they've exhausted all the all of your resources, once they feel like their needs can no longer be met from you by you, then they might discard you for good and might not come back, y'all. Once they feel like you might have strong boundaries, or once they feel like you can say no and you mean it, they might not come back then, y'all. But that's a might. That's a might. Sometimes they still will come back because they're just too proud. Their ego keeps them coming back. Their ego keeps them coming back into your life for more. Once they feel like you, they, they, if you cut off access and, and you know, like you dam it up, like you, like I said, when I say dam it up, I mean like a little beaver. I've said this before in the video before. You have to become, become like a little empathetic beaver and dam up your life. Dam up, dam up the river, the river of access to your life. Dam up the river of supply that that narcissistic person is getting from you. Dam it up. You chomp, you, you, you take the little piece of wood, the little empathetic beaver. You chomp it up and you dam up the river of supply, and then just then. Just when they might leave you alone, once they feel like all the resources, all the supply is gone, once the river of supply dries up, once their their crops are no longer being watered, they might leave you alone. You know, as I said, might because y'all sometimes they still might try to come back to to, to try to break your dam. You mean they 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 are if you are a little empathetic beaver, they are a logging company trying to break down the dam to get the supply to get the water to start flowing again. You know what I mean? So it's up to you, y'all. The final discard is up to you. Yeah, but sometimes the narcissist will leave you alone if they feel like the supply is gone or they can't do anything for you or they can't do anything with you. You know what I mean? They just feel like sometimes they will leave you alone. But a lot of times it's up to you. When have you had enough? And sometimes, y'all, they will keep pushing those buttons even if you go no contact, even if you dam up the river of supply, even if you just cut off access, they might still come back and try to mess with you, y'all. That's what some narcissists do. They think they will try to exhaust you into giving them another chance, y'all. They will try to exhaust you into dealing into into continuously dealing with them. They will try to exhaust you into talk like into talking them again, talking to them again. They will try to make they will try to make it seem like it's easier for you to stay in contact with me than it is for you to just cut me off. You know, they will try they will try to remain in your life as friends. Well, the relationship didn't work, but maybe we can maybe just maybe we can become friends. Can we be friends? No. Why would y'all want to be friends with your toxic, abusive ass ex partner? You know what I mean? The final discard is in your hands, y'all. It's your it's your power to finally discard them. Use it use it wisely. You know what I mean? Use it wisely. Use the power of the final discard wisely because they're going like y'all. Narcissistic people are going to do what they feel like they're allowed to do. That's just it right there, y'all. Meanwhile, y'all, I'm gonna keep this episode short and sweet and to the point, y'all. If you haven't already, get out, get over to Amazon, get that self love journal to help you rebuild that self love, help you regain that self love. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, y'all, mental illness is out. Peace.